פרק 11, משנה ב'. בדיוק. שבת י"א ב'. אז, in the previous משנה we learned, this is a continuation of the previous משנה. In the previous משנה we learned that if somebody throws from רשות היחיד to רשות היחיד through רשות הרבים, If it's above 10 tefachim, he's patul. And if it's below 10 tefachim, Rabbi Akiva says chayav, and Chachamim says patul. You remember that. Okay, so we're going to continue the discussion now. Bi'ul Mishnah Bet. Mishnatenu yemshech ha-mishnah kudemet. This Mishnah is a continuation of the previous Mishnah. ומסיימת היא את דבריהם של חכמים, it continues the words of the חכמים, it ends the words of the חכמים. It's us, כיצד? It says, let's look at exactly what's going on over here. הזורק מרשות היחיד לרשות היחיד, we're talking about somebody who throws from the private domain to the private domain, ורשות הרבים באמצע פטור. When we say the, the public domain is in the middle, he is פטור. בירושלמי מובא, in the Yerushalmi it's brought, שאין גורסים במשנה כיצד, we don't have the word כיצד, how, כלומר, שלפי ירושלמי, אין משנתנו המשך למשנה הקודמת, according to Yerushalmi it's a different משנה, it's not a continuation. שכן המשנה הקודמת עוסמת בזורק למטה מעשרה טפחים, the previous משנה, according to Yerushalmi, is below ten טפחים, כמו שבארנו לעיל במחלוקת רבי עקיבא וחכמים, ואילו משנתנו עוסקת במושיט וזורק למעלה מעשרה טפחים. In our Mishnah it is above ten טפחים. That's why the Yerushalmi says. I'm not quite sure if this is what, the way we're going to learn it. We'll see. Okay. So let's look at what, what the case is. שתי גזות רעות. בבלקונז, יא. מרפסת. הבולטות לרשות הרבים. והם רשות היחיד. So we have two balconies, they go... אבל חשבתי בלקוני זה כבר רשות הרבים, לא עם המדרגות האלה? No, this is a balcony like in... Like בירושלים שיש. Yeah, like your. אתה יוצא לחוץ? Like you have. כן. You probably have a balcony in your apartment, right? כן. In Israel everybody has a balcony. אתה רוצה להיות פסק ואתה רואה את Exactly. So this is it, two balconies, הבולטות לרשות הרבים, they stick out to the public domain. והן רשות היחיד, and they are considered private domain. זו כנגד זו. So, think about רשות הרבים right in the middle, one on this side of the street, one on the other side of the street. וזו כנגד זו ברשות הרבים. This against the other one in the public domain. בשני צדי רשות הרבים, in the two opposite sides of the public domain, ורוחב רשות הרבים מפסיק ביניהם. And the length, the width of the public domain stops between them. So let's look at the, the rule is. המושיט והזורק מזו לזו, whether you are passing th- things, you can pass, or you can throw things from this one to the other one, בין המושיט מגזותך אחת לחברתה, whether you pass it from one balcony to the next, ובין הזורק מזו לזו, whether you threw it from one to the other, פטור. You're not obligated. הזורק פטור, so let's think about the reasoning. The one is... פטור ומותר גם, לא רק פטור. We're not sure about if it's מותר or not, yeah, but it's possible that it's also מותר. הזורק פטור, the one who throws Uh, he throws it patur, מהטעם שביארנו, from the reason that we explained before. שלדעת חכמים, that according to חכמים, so it looks like this is within ten tefachim. Oh. It is within ten tefachim. Not higher. Not higher than ten tefachim. Even with, higher for sure. But even within ten tefachim, oh. it's still patur. שלדעת חכמים, כלותה אינה כמו שהונחה, because we go according to the sages, and they say, even below ten tefachim, we don't consider like the air coded. That's Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva thinks the air coded. The chachamim, even below ten tefachim, he didn't catch it. 
the dat is that's patu u be moshit hatam and if it's they pass in it they're not throwing it she omnam ba mishkan aitao shatat krashi meagala laagala it is hey but what about the mishkan the mishkan the wagons were more than ten tfachim yeah and they passed things from land to land u be moshit hatam u sham kemevuar lai lebshatenu אבל לא בדרך זה שרוכב רשות הרבים מפסיק ביניהם. הלקח אין חיוב על הושטה זו. או, זה מהיו צמודים, they were. They were backward and forward. That's right, they were forward and backwards. They were passing this way, but they never passed across רשות הרבים in the Mishkan. They were never passing across רשות הרבים. אז זה כאילו from רשות היחיד to רשות היחיד? Yeah. So let's take an example. What's going to happen now? Oh, he's going to give the example. So, what if the two balconies, they were on the same side of the street? From this building to this building now. Oh, so now it is exactly like in the Mishkan. So let's see now what's happening. Beshura. בניינים אחת, they were in the same row of buildings, באורך רשות הרבים, on the length of the public domain, המשית מגזותרה לגזותרה חייב, if you are passing from one balcony to the next balcony, you're going to be obligated. אפילו הושית, למעלה מעשרה טפחים. If, whether he did it below ten טפחים, whether he did it above ten טפחים. Because the Agalot, there is, there is a Shtarabim in the middle. A Shtarabim, it's a building. That's the building. Yeah. And there is one balcony here and one balcony here. The balcony is above a Shtarabim. In here. That's right. The balcony is above a Shtarabim and you pass it from both. So it says, what is the problem? Because the reason is because that's the Agalot. The Agalot were a Shuta Yechid. Do a Shuta Yechid. They were, and they were passing it above a Sarat Fachim. So since the Agalot in the wagons, they passed it above a Sarat Fachim. That was part of building of the Mishkan. So this is also, even though it's above a Sarat Fachim, since it's not a cross Rishut Arabim, And this is exactly what he did in Mishkan, therefore you're going to be obligated. As, as I didn't understand, so if, if you are one against the other, you have the Rishut HaRabim Po. Mm -hmm. So you say Patu. That's right. And if you are here, and this is Rishut HaRabim, you say Chayat. That's right. What's the difference? Because I don't understand. how do you learn transference? Oh, because of the Agalot. The Agalot, that's right. They never, so why don't you learn the other one from Agalot? Because the Agalot never transferred across Rishut Arabim. So here there is no Rishut Arabim, if that's so. In the, this building, here and here, it's so like there is no Rishut Arabim lemata. Because otherwise you would say it's a patu. There is Rishut Arabim, but it's across, it's not across the Rishut Arabim. It's along the Rishut Arabim. Okay. 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 That's the difference. It's going to get complicated. It's cross and makbil ve. But how? That's right. But hazorek patu. So if you pass the beam, whatever you pass from balcony to balcony, you chayav. But if you threw, you patu. Again, why patu? Because they never threw things from one wagon to the other. It was too heavy and it's not respectable to throw things of the rest of English. Rak akira, you don't have... That's right. So throwing, it's a strange way. So therefore, they never did it. Let's put it. They never did it. You can't learn it from the wagons. Because it was never done in the wagon. Therefore, you're patu. Ve'azorek patu. Afilu avar ha'chefetz be'avir rishut ha'rabim. למטה מעשרה טפחים, whether it was above עשרה טפחים או below עשרה טפחים, you still פטור, כמבואר במשנה הקודמת, וטעם הדין הזה, and the reason for this, שכן הייתה עבודת הלוויים, you learn it from the way the לוויים used to carry, במשכן שבמדבר, in the tabernacle in the desert. How did they use to carry? 
שתי עגלות זו אחר זו ברשות הרבים. They had two wagons, this behind another in the public domain. היינו באורך רשות הרבים. It was to the length of the public domain. And what did they do? מושיטים הקרשים מזו לזו. They used to pass from one to another. היו מושיטים את קרשי המשכן מעגלה לעגלה. They used to pass the beams of the tabernacle from one wagon to the other. והעגלה רשות היחיד היא. And the Agala itself is the, is the private domain. It's above 10 tfachim, it has the measurement. Shaita gvoa asara tfachim, because it was more than 10 tfachim. Venimtsa shayu moshiti me reshut ayachid, le reshut ayachid, le mala me asara tfachim. So what did they do? They passed from private domain to private domain above 10 tfachim, veorech reshut arabim baemtsa. And they had the length of the public domain in the middle. ומכאן למדים חכמים, from here the sages learn, שהמושיט מגזותרה לחברתה בדיוטה אחת, that somebody who passes from one balcony to another balcony on the same side of the street, אפילו למעלה מעשרה טפחים, even if it was above ten טפחים, he's חייב because that's exactly what the Levim used to do. אבל המושיט מגזותרה לגזותרה ורוחב רשות הרבים באמצע פטור. But if they went across the public domain, then he's not obligated. Why? שלא הייתה שאתה כזאת ימלך את המשקל, because they never did it in the building of the משקל. They only did it along the public domain. They never did it across the public domain. In other words, the cross would be that one wagon will be here and another wagon here. And then they'll take it from this to here. That's right. Otherwise, they back up like the wagon. Across the street. Across the street, yeah. Okay, got you. וכבר בארנו שמלאכות שבת למדים לכת המשכן. We already explained that all this, the working of שבת we learn from the working of the tabernacle. אבל לא זורקים. But in the Levim never threw anything. לא היו זורקים את הקרשים מפני כובדם. They never threw the beams because they were too heavy. ויש אומרים מפני קדושתם. Or they were too holy. הילקה חזורק בכל עניין פטור, therefore it was never done in the Mishkan, so if you are going to be throwing, you can't bring a sin of rain, it was never done in the Mishkan. יש מוסיפים בביאור עניין ההושטה, there are those who add when it comes to passing, שאומנם מן הדין המושיט צריך להיות פטור. It says the truth is that you should be not obligated because it's above עשרה טפחים, מקום פטור. כיוון שהוא למעלה מעשרה, ואין מחייבים אותו, אלא משום שהייתה מלאכה זו במשכן. The only reason we are, logically, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be obligated, but because that's the way they did it in the Mishkan, we are going to make you obligated. הילקח אינו חייב, אלא בדרך ההושטה, שאתה משכן מלבד. Therefore, the only reason you're, you're obligated above ten tfachim is the, the, if you did exactly the same way you do it in the Mishkan, and since you threw it, you didn't do exactly the same, therefore it's not obligated. Finished. Hmm. Next part. So, so just practically, if I'm in Yerushalayim and I sit on my balcony and my neighbor is here, and he said, hey, throw me the thing on Shabbos. I throw him, uh, let's you, say, something. You don't have to bring a sin offering. I'm not sure if you're allowed to do it like a trailer. I'm not sure. I don't think so. But you don't have to bring a sin offering. That's for sure. Okay. That's for sure. But if you... On the same side, you can throw and not bring a sin offering, right. but if you pass, you do bring a sin offering. Because it's like the Mishkan. Because it's in the Mishkan. That's right. Chuliyat Habor. Okay. Let me explain what's Chuliyat Habor. When you dig a hole, usually there's like a lip above the, the hole that it has So, so it, it's smooth, then you have a hole, but it doesn't go smooth and then a hole. It's smooth, and then you have a little bit of a hill, and then the hole starts. Because when you dig out, it makes oh. a little bit of a hill around. This is called chuliyah. Uh-huh. Okay? Chuliyat habo, the addition to the pit, shebereshut arabim, that is in the public domain, כשחופרים בור, when you dig a hole, מניחים סביבו את העפר שמוצאים מתוכו. Usually there, there's a remainder of earth that you took out from it, להיות לו כמעקד, it makes it like a small hill. Okay. עפר זה נקרא חוליית הבור. This is called the חוליית הבור. The... 
something for the pit. Uba Mishnah Lamdenu, and the Mishnah comes to teach us. Now, if the pit is ten tefachim deep, then it's Rishut Yachid. If the pit is less than ten tefachim deep, then it's Rishut Arabim. You're allowed to take something and put it in the pit, and you're allowed to take something from the pit and put it above. Yeah, you're allowed to. But what, what happens if the pit is nine tefachim, but because the chulia itself oh. is one tefach? Am I going to consider it Rishut Yachid now, or is it Rishut Arabim? Mm-hmm. That's the question. And this Mishnah comes to teach If the pit itself is not deep Ten Tfachim It is the small hill makes it a ten All do the same thing um, With a rock Let's say there's a rock in the public domain Ten Tfachim או הסלע שברשות הרבים, or the rock that is in the public, שהם גבוהים עשרה טפחים ורחמן ארבעה טפחים, that they are the height of ten and the width of four, כלומר שהבור בצירוף חלויותו עמוק עשרה, that the pit together with the hill around it is deep ten, והוא רחוב ארבע, and it has the length of four, feet, of four tfachim, וכן סלע, it's a, the same thing with the rock, שהוא גבוה עשרה טפחים ורוחב ארבעה, as long as it has ten tfachim and the width of four, ויש מפרשים שהמילה חוליית, there are those who explain that the word חוליית, מוסבה גם על הסלע, goes also on the rock, כלומר שגם בסלע מדובר שבחוליה שסביבות התל, משלימה את גובהו של הסלע לעשרה טפחים. Okay, there's some sand around it that makes it ten tefachim. ויש מפרשים שהכוונה המשנה לחוליה עצמה, שהיא גבוהה עשרה tefachim. Some say that it's talking about the חוליה itself, that it is height of ten tefachim. וכן הסלע כיוצא ב... אוקיי. הנוטל מהן, so if you take from the rock or you take from the pit, הוא מניח ברשות הרבים, and you place it in the public domain, והנותן על גבם, או you put it on top of the rock, or you, or you take from the public domain and you put it inside the hall, chayav, you are obligated, shedinam kereshut ayachid, because you're going to be like the public, like a private domain. Pachot mikan, if it's less than that, shehem rechavim pachot me'arba tfachim, or shegvoim pachot me'asara tfachim, that the length is less than four, or the depth or the height is less than ten, then patur, not obligated, it's carmelit. It's not Rishut Arabim, it's not Rishut Yachid. We, talk, we said that the carmelit, carmelit is like the almana, that she can go over here, she can go over here. Hanotel mahem, vanotel al gabal, patur mechatat, you're not obligated from sin offering. She'en dinam ke Rishut Yachid, ela ke carmelit. They are not considered like their private domain, but they are like carmelit. Ve'im gova asela o mekabor pachot mishtuat tfachim, but if it's less than three tfachim, then it's not even Asur de Rabbanan. It's not even Asur de Rabbanan, it's completely Rishut Arabim, if it's less than three tfachim. Okay. They are part of the public domain that they are so there. So from one to three, you didn't do, no, no problem, you can do it lechatchila. If it's from zero to three, don't worry about it, you can take a rock in Rishut Arabim and move it. A rock you're allowed to touch, but let's say whatever the circumstances is, yeah, you're allowed to, to do that. If it's three to ten, you're not allowed to do it. But if you did it, you don't have to bring a sacrifice. And when you go more than ten, that means it, it, it becomes to be Rishut Arabim. Rishut Yachid. Rishut Yachid. Rishut Yachid. That's the point. You're in the middle of Rishut Arabim, and the Rishut Arabim has Rishut Yachid inside it. The ten Fakhim has, okay. That's right. So from one to three, from zero to three, you didn't do nothing, don't worry about it, you can do it. From three to ten, don't do it. But if you did it, you don't have to bring a sacrifice. If it's ten or more, now you have to bring a sacrifice. Ha'ara. Ma she bi'arno la'il, what we explained above, she'en dinam ki reshut ha'yachid ela ki karmelit, we said that it's not like the private domain, but a karmelit, זה רק לפי 
רק לגבי גבוהים פחות מעשרה טפחים. It is only if they don't have the depth of ten טפחים. אבל רכבים ארבע, אם רכבם פר, פחות מארבע, דינם כמקום פטור. But if they are less than four טפחים wide, they're even פטור, קרמלית even. The קרמלית will even be פטור because It's not considered to be, even from one to ten, if it's less than four, it's makom p'tur, don't worry about it alone. It's only if it has four and eight, that then you... Yeah, it's very interesting if the, if the Mishnah is going to deal with, for example, if you take a rope on Shabbos, and you have a neighbor down there in your uh, balcony, and you take something and you... Minechebel, morid lo lemata. It's Rishut HaYachid, Lirishut HaYachid. I think it's the same thing. But you're not in the balcony, you have to go out. Yeah, 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 it's Rishut HaYachid. But it's still Rishut HaRabim. I think so. It's Rishut HaRabim to Rishut HaRabim. No, it's Rishut HaYachid to Rishut HaRabim. You take it from yourself. Oh, yes, Rishut HaYachid. You did a kira in your balcony. And you're just dangling it now to the other. It's Rishut HaRabim. It's through Rishut HaRabim. It's the same thing as ours, I think. Unless, unless you're going to make a hole in the middle of your balcony. Okay. And now okay. you're going to pass. And, ah, uh, but by Avir? No, but it's Rishut Yachid. Ah, There's no Rishut Arabim yeah. there at all. Okay. Then it's your, his Rishut Yachid all the way to yours. The question now is, does, is it his Rishut Yachid all the way to you, or after 10 Tfachim, it's going to be Rishut Arabim? Okay. So maybe you can say that after 10 Tfachim, even on your property, it's considered to be Rishut Arabim. Because if you go on your roof, 10 Tfachim above your roof, that's Rishut Arabim. So also over here, maybe 10 Tfachim above, above your balcony is Rishut Arabim. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe you can say, Makes sense. or maybe you can say it's all the way up to the next balcony, it's mine. No, because you said before that after 10 Tfachim, it's Rishut Arabim. Yeah, but over here it's, Inside your house, let's, let's think about it. It's a bachot. Yeah, it's a good, good question. Because inside your house, for sure, it's all the way to the top of your property. Okay. Over here, the balcony, how am I going? It, I know it's just up over Rishut Arabim. The question is, now... How uh, high? No, the question is, maybe because he, the roof above, There is a roof above, maybe I'm going to consider it as oh. all a private domain or not. It's a good question. Hmm. It's a very good question. I can see it both ways. You, you can yeah. see it. No, but we have to, we have to. I, I, I'm saying, is this Mishnah, is going, the Mishnah would deal with stuff like that or probably not? Yeah, I think the Mishnah already dealt with it. You think so? Yeah. If it's Rishut HaYachit, you don't have a problem. You can pass Rishut Yachid, Rishut Yachid. But if you, after 10 Tfachim, it's called Rishut Arabim, by you, then it's, we already dealt with it, you're not allowed to. Although, you can still say, we only dealt passing this way. We never dealt passing this way, through Rishut Arabim. And that was not done in the Mishkan. Actually, it was done in the Mishkan. They took it from the wagon and they put it on the floor. And I put it on the floor and I put it in the wagon. So it was done in the Mishkan. So then you'll be chayav. Zrika, you wouldn't be chayav because they didn't throw it. But passing, you probably, probably you will be chayav.